Okay, so we have a lovely combination here. Information technology and spirituality. It highlights some of the areas in humanism, spirituality and meditation with poetry, notes and essays. The first half of the book is a collection of poems. The second half is a collection of thoughts which the author calls expressions with a list of essays about humanism and spirituality. I am told that this book has been inspired by mystical traditions such as yoga, Vedanta, Zen, Taoism and Sufism which have meditation as a common ground. Dr. Chandra's writings are very interesting and meaningful to read because his poems and philosophical discussions reflect innovation, creativity, inspiration, earnestness and sincerity. It is certainly remarkable to see how a young poet grapples to make sense of his surroundings. And this is something that we all do every day. And the way one's life unfolds as he attempts to shed light on some of the most delicate and sensitive areas of human existence. His philosophical underpinnings challenge one to think outside of the box and question the subtleties of life by at least pondering upon one's beliefs, thoughts and behaviors. Life in itself is a mystery and at times one cannot fully comprehend and express why certain things exist or happen the way they do. This work stimulates one to deter from always taking things for granted and taking a closer look at oneself and tap into the inner voice. Meditation and contemplation pave the way to self-realization that allows one to continuously evolve and grow as a person that in the long term impacts and molds the broader community. A cornerstone of this book is the obvious personal meditation of being with himself that resonates with being at home. The ideas, the perceptions, the views expressed in this collection are thought-provoking. They will be thought-provoking for all of us here tonight. I am glad to see that the document is being made freely available to everyone as long as they give due credit to the author tonight. So if you do read it, make sure you do that. We all have thoughts in our minds. Thoughts that often time take over whatever we're doing, they take over our days. And we are constantly asking ourselves the great questions in life. What does life mean? What is the purpose of our existence? Whilst I am a Christian, I nevertheless find it useful to learn how others think about the kinds of things that I think about every day thinking about what it is that is important in life. The kind of thinking, this kind of thinking is such an integral part of all of us. All of us, we do this kind of thinking every day. And all our thoughts help us to crystallize, crystallize our own interpretation of what is important in life. And they also help to cement our own view of the world and ourselves. I was very interested to learn that as part of his work, Dr. Chandra is uh, looking at informatics in the health sector. Being the Minister for Health, I'm always interested in that. And I understand that he has students working in the area of information. So not only am I glad to be here, that we're talking about the fundamental questions that drive our minds. Why are we here in the world? What are the important things in life, whether it's uh, humanism, whether it's spirituality, whether it's something to do with our Creator. But I'm glad also that we can make a connection tonight where there are possibilities of working on health. I'm always looking for people that can help, help us in improving the health of our people in this country, whether it's through system uh, improvements, whether it's through sh sharing information, whether it's to have uh, people who can actually do something about this. Because at the end of the day, you know, health is really not the government's responsibility. It is your, whose responsibility? Primarily. Everybody has got the primary responsibility for their own health. But we're always looking at ways in which systems, processes, um, people that have a lot of studies in this area can work with us in order to enhance the uh, health systems in this country so we can build a better Fiji and we can build a healthier population. One of the most important parts of health, one of the most important parts of what we have is not just our physical health but what goes into the mind. 
understanding our mentality and how we think. That is why this particular publication is, is of particular interest. If you go through it, I've just skipped through it, I hope to go through it in much detail. I, think, I hope to stimulate your own thinking about what, what life is all about and hopefully help you to move towards mental, mental wellness in the future. So with all those words, I wish the author well and I wish you a great time in going through the book and learning from it and helping it to crystallize your own thoughts. Now, how are you? Dr. Chandra's mom.